everyone in today's video i'll show you how to do a colored ribbing for any sweater or top i hope you will enjoy this video please don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe and let's get into it to make this uh, color i will be using this chunky yarn six millimeter hook then I will need a pair of scissors and a needle, but you can use any hook and yarn depending on your project. So this is my sweater's neckline. And to start off, you want to find your middle where your shoulders are joined and insert your hook next to the seam of both shoulders. Grab your yarn, pull it through and chain to secure and now we'll be doing a chain of six so that means I will have five stitches so that's one two three four five and six once you've got your chain you can chain any amount you want depending how long or short you want your uh, ribbing to be but once you've got your chain starting into second hook make a single crochet and then continue making single crochets across your chain into my last chain once you do your last single crochet you will need to do a decrease stitch into main panel so find your next stitch pull up a loop find your next one and pull up a loop again yarn over pull through all of them chain one and turn your ribbing then again you will need to do the same amount of single crochets you did for first row which is five for me so if you're struggling to find where your first stitch is because this might seem as a first stitch but it really isn't so one two three four five this one is your first stitch because this is the decrease we did and you don't want to go into that so skip your decrease stitch and then go into the fifth or however you have and do the same exact number of single crochets at the end you want to chain one and turn your ribbing again you want to do the same number of single crochets so i'm just going to do my five single crochets And then again, once you reach the point of your main panel, you want to do a decrease stitch. So pull up a loop in the first one, pull up a loop in the next one, yarn over, pull through all three loops, chain one, and again, turn your work. You will always be skipping this decrease stitch this doesn't count as a stitch so you will only be going into the ones that is after this one so skip your decrease and go into back loop only with your single crochets chain one and turn your work again then make your single crochets And when you reach the end again you will do the crease stitch so pull up a loop in the next two stitches yarn over pull through all three chain one and you will then need to repeat those two rows so after the decrease you will do your single crochets into back loop chain one turn your work and do uh, your single crochets into back loop 
and repeat those two until you reach this point. So you will go all around your neckline to complete this ribbing and I will see you at the end. And once you come to the end, you want to fold your ribbing right sides in and we will now need to join those both together. So you want to go into the back loops only for both of your ribbings. Pull up a loop and do a slip stitch. And repeat this as many times as needed. So this is going to be five for me because I have five single crochets. And once you've done that, you want to chain one. You can then cut your yarn off, leaving a bit of a tail. Pull it through and then grab your needle because you will need to hide the tail in. I'm just going to weave in a couple of stitches down. And once you've done, you can then cut your tail off. And this is how your ribbing will look like. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, this helped a bit. And yeah, if you would like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.